Okay, I'm gonna try something new today. I just wanna come on live uh, for a few moments. Uh, here, I'm in my studio, and what I'm doing, I'm preparing for uh, uh, next week's uh, demonstration. And so I'm gonna do a little bit of masking now, just to do a little preparation on my painting. So I thought you might wanna see uh, how I do that instead of uh, watching it uh, on, uh, on live. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me uh, go to my uh, main overhead camera. And uh, let's go over here and here. Uh, I've got my drawing done here, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare. I'm going to mask in some of the areas that I want to save here. I'm using um, the incredible white mask, uh, which comes in uh, two two uh, two ounce size little bottles, and I'm using the uh, the dipstick for an applicator. Okay, that's all I really need. I, sometimes I use a brush. Uh, and so forth, but uh, no, I had to clean it out and so forth. So, uh, and then I'm also going to use uh, a little bit of uh, uh, green tape here, which is called frog tape, which is a painter's tape. I'm going to use some of that to also mask off some of the areas. So I'm going to go ahead and do some masking here. So uh, you notice here when I when I store my bottle, I store it upside down, and uh, take the lid off. And so I'm going to mask in areas that I want to uh, save uh, before I paint over because I'm going to do some colorful washes on top of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put in, I used it, I used this little, this uh, dipstick has uh, two, four edges on it. And uh, used to call, uh, years ago, they would call the incredible, di uh, the incredible nib, but now it's called a dipstick. It's the same thing. Incredible nib, dipstick. But it has, uh, has several edges on it, and uh, it, uh, it's it's easy way to apply the mask. Now this this uh, incredible white mask, what it does, it's it, it dries clear. Uh, it, it doesn't show it doesn't show where it's located, but it's easy to see once it dries, and then. Uh, So I'm just taking my time here. Yeah, my uh, my focus on the screen here sometimes uh, my hand uh, or my movement here will sometimes make the focus. So I gotta try to be aware of that. I think I can fix that on my on the broadcast where I can have the uh, take off the auto focus and put it on manual. But right now, okay. And I got another small tree over here. I got some trees on this one. It's going to be a very interesting little painting uh, on Thursday. But I wanted to get started today to get the the preparation stage here to uh, to get started on. Another one over here. These are smaller trees, which uh, take masking fluid. If I want to save the save the uh, area, and this is a good way to uh, to, to save the white paper. And I'm going to paint over these later on. But right now, I want to mask them in. I may make some changes as I go along. But at least this, I know this will protect the. The area that I want to save here, okay, and then uh, I just wipe off the en end of this incredible or dipstick, and it'll dry, and I go right back and use it again. And uh, here's another here's another good tool: is that put the lid back on the masking fluid so it doesn't dry out. Okay, so my hands are clean. All right, now the next stage, I'm gonna put in some of this. I got some larger tree here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in, use the tape. I used this technique on the last uh, demonstration to uh, mask out some of the trees I had. I'll take care of that one. 
this one I might might cut it down a little bit. Use use less tape on this one. It's not as thick. So see, you can tear the tape. Maybe I put it to the size you want. Okay. All right, and that's just you know it's just for taking that one area there because uh, when I paint over, that's one less area I need to worry about. Okay. And then I, I have some smaller branches here. So I'm going to go back in one more step. Open up the uh, travel the mask again. And I got uh, I got a limb here I want to cover up. So I'm covering up those areas that I want to uh, protect from the uh, watercolor paint when I paint over it. I'm going to paint some background. When I paint the background in, and some of the middle ground, I want to be able to protect these uh, shapes here that I have. This is incredible white mask is, is, a, is an incredible white mask, which is on my website. I have uh, a supply of white mask. Okay, now also I can turn this. I can turn this. Uh, I can turn uh, this applicator. I call it an applicator. It's really a dipstick. I can turn it at a certain angle. And I can get some fine lines. Okay. Well, I, I, I applied that and that's going to sit there and dry for a while. But uh, that was just to show you a little bit of my preparation. I thought I would do that here as a, a little quick demonstration of, of putting white mask and uh, putting some tape on here. It just protects the the paper until I'm ready to go. So I'll see you on Thursday, uh, on the next show on Thursday at two o'clock. I'll see you in the next video.